Like people are gonna always be racist. They're just like how they are, you know. It's just how some people are. Like they need to just have like a town where there's like only racist people. Like no one else go there, but. What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. Today's gonna be a little bit of a serious video. You know, first of all, I wanna say rest in peace to George Floyd and all the, the victim of racially um, motivated crimes. Rest in peace to them. All right, today I'm just gonna be, you know, talking a little bit about, you know, my run-ins with racism. I haven't had a lot of um, people like treat me bad because of my race. Like I feel like because I live in the Bay Area, like I don't really see that a lot. Not really. I see it a little bit. It's happened to me before. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I've, I've been cool most of my life. I've been cool already, but I'm only 21, so. Story time type stuff. Like nothing, nothing ever like. <coughs> I've never had anyone act <coughs> violently because they're racist. You know, rest in peace with George Floyd again. Cause like, what happened to him? <coughs> you know, it's crazy, super crazy. It's super sad. Like seeing the video is super sad. Like I really don't understand why people have to be racist. I don't understand. I'm not at all. <coughs> but yeah, I'm gonna talk about you know the only time that I ever um, encountered a racist person. And I don't even think like they're like really being racist. I just think that they're just like making a joke. So I don't even like, I probably couldn't even count it. Like I've been fortunate enough to not have to go through, you know, 
anything bad like George Floyd or any of the other, like Eric Gardner, any, I, I, I never had any bad situations happen to me because of my race. But the only thing that happened to me, when I was in Cemetery, I was going to my, um, my friends, my white friend, I was going to his school. You know, this was like in middle school. We were just gonna go like ride, ride our bikes around. You know, I pull up to a school and then like, I see these like, it's like three white kids. There's two white kids and one Asian kid. And you know, these guys are just like yelling, nigger, nigger, nigger at me. But I was just like, you know, kind of looking at them like, bro, what's wrong with you, man? Feel me? But, but they stopped. And even one of the, the Asian dude was like a person that I've hung out with before in San Mateo. Cause my, I'm, you know, I'm, I have a friend in San Mateo, so, you know, he has his close friends in his area. I live in Richmond and I have my close friends in Richmond. So it was like one of his close friends. So that's super crazy, you know. Rest in peace and joy for it. <clears throat> I feel like you know people people are going to always be racist like there's no stopping racism like people are gonna always be racist. They're just like how they are, you know, it's just, uh, just how some people are. Like they need to just have like a town where there's like only racist people, like no one else go there, but only racist people. Yeah, yeah being black in America, it's hard. For some. Like, I've been really fortunate not to have anything bad happen to me. Yet. I, I bet one day, like, I'm gonna, you know, encounter, like, a racist cop or, like, a racist boss or something. Or just or just a racist, racist person on the street and actually really realize, you know, like, you know, this racist stuff is like, it's real, like, it's real. Cause even like cops, I never like really met a racist cop. Like, I live in the Bay Area and you know, it's like pretty diverse, black Asians, Mexicans. So I feel like, you know, if you're a cop here, you probably grew up around Blacks, whites, Asians, Mexicans, your whole life, so why discriminate, you know? So, I don't know. I'm pretty fortunate, though. It's crazy, man. But yeah, that's the video today. It's gonna be a pretty short video, I guess. Maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. I'm smoking on some Jet Fuel Gelato right now, if you want to know what I'm smoking on. You know, I know it's a lot of negative things going on in the world, but that doesn't mean that you can't stay positive and do positive things in your life. Like, I'm pretty positive. Like, all this, even someone calling me a nigger, like, that would not affect me at all. Like, who cares? Really, who cares what someone has to say? It's wrong? Yeah, but, like, that's just how life is, like, it, it can't be perfect, you know what I mean? It's wrong for sure, like, but it can't be perfect. But yeah, that's the video. That's my thoughts on the whole George Floyd situation and all the riots, even just my thoughts on racism. You know, I told you guys what I encountered. But yeah, that's it for the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. We'll see you guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs>